Hey guys, it's Steph here with Crafty Ladybug. Thanks for visiting. Today we're going to complete Beach Bob. He is the dad in our beach series. For Bob, we're going to be using 27 bands for his hair. And I'm using uh, tan and brown today for kind of a surfing highlight sun-kissed mixture. His skin tone is going to be a peach color, and we're going to be using about 75 bands. And then for the shorts, I'm using blue today. And you're going to need around 25 bands for the shorts. We will also be using our loom set in its offset configuration, and our arrow will be pointing from the left and going towards the right. Now, if you want to complete Bob to look like this, you will need to string two beads on a single flesh colored or skin tone band. Today I will be using two black bands to show you how to do the eyes. So let's get started with this lesson. Our first thing that we're going to start with is his hair. And we're going to be doing that in a separate layer, then laying his face, his shorts, his legs, and adding his arms lastly. So let's begin. I want you to take a single band in your hair color and place it on the end of your loom right here and allow it to dangle over the edge of the loom. Take two bands, I'm using one of each color, and go from top to center in a diagonal. Two bands again, going from center to bottom in a diagonal. Two bands again, coming down the center. Now we want to come down the center for a total of four times. Two bands, two bands, and two bands. We're going to start the top row, and the top row is going to be two bands, Going once, two bands, going twice, and two bands to form a really long diagonal right here in this area. We're going to follow the same situation on the bottom row with two bands two bands, and two bands coming in the long diagonal. Now we're ready to do some horizontal bands. I'm going to take a single band in my hair color, either one for my purposes today, and we're going to go on peg number two, two, and two, and form a triangle. The next horizontal band it's going to be peg three, three, and three to form another triangle. And then we need to cap off this band right here as a cap band. So I'm taking a single band, wrapping it around my hook twice, and I'm going to stretch it out over that piece right there. This we will use at a later date to lock in our hair but we are now ready to progress on to looping our hair, and we're only going to loop up to a certain point. If you will reach into your center band, pushing back that set of two cat bands, and you're going to grab the top two bands, and I have not grabbed the top two. They were mixed in together. Something's laid on top of something else. So I'm just going to reach in again, getting that mess out of the way. And there's my top two bands that I want. Push back, reach in. Now I've got those top two going over to my left, reaching in, grabbing the top two if I can get the top two. And that's going over to my right. And I'm chuckling because I had somebody make a comment to me about 
my my left and my right in my video. So now I'm really self-conscious about trying to make sure I say left correctly and right correctly because sometimes I don't. I just throw out a word every now and then and if it's going in the correct direction, it is. <laughs> now back onto the center. And we're going to loop up those two bands on the center straight ahead. They're going to be loose on that peg. For the center, you're going to push back that cat band or the horizontal band. And grab those two bands and loop forward again. And then we're going to reach in again in the center and loop forward one more time. Now for the center, we're going to stop right there on peg two. Do not continue to loop up because we're going to do a layering technique in this area in just a moment. So you don't need to loop any further. Now let's reach over here to our left peg. And we're going to reach down, push back everything, and grab those two bands on the bottom and wiggle them out. To get his hair to come off to the side, I'm going to wiggle it out. Don't loop forward. You're going to wiggle it out and bring it back to peg number four. So it's coming back to peg number four. It's out of peg number three, but we set it back onto peg number four. And we're just going to rest it there for a little while. Then when we go to loop the face shut, that is this link right here. And that's what keeps the back of the hair looking so nice and completely covering his head. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. And I'm pushing back those bands, getting my two bands out, wiggling them off to the side, and placing it back on the fourth peg. Once again, we will pick that up in just a little while. Actually, it's going to be quite a while before we pick those bands back up. So don't forget about them being there. I'll let you know when we need to come pick those back up. Okay, now our next step is to start to lay our face area. And for our face area, we're going to be using, I'm using peach colored bands today, but you can use whatever skin tone you wish. I'm taking two peach bands. And I'm going to place those from peg number two to three on the top. Two bands, two to three on the top. Two bands, two to three in the center. And two bands, two to three on the bottom. Now I need to take two bands again. Two bands. And it's going to be center three to four. And now we're going to do our diagonals, our cheek area, which will be forming that diagonal right there. And two bands again, two bands to form this diagonal. Push those down slightly. And now the neck area is going to be a total of three bands. You want to use three bands, three total for the neck area. And that's going to go right down here on the center. Now we need to pause here for just a moment in the neck area. And I want you guys to take this cat band, that cat band of hair color right here. I want you just to pick it up and place it on top of those bands we just laid for the neck. And that is the piece that locks in our hair to the back of our head. That ends up being this piece right there. And that locks our hair in the back of our head. And now we're going to move on to his uh, chest area. And then we'll do his pants and his legs. So for the chest area, we're taking two bands. And we're going to go from center to top. And then we're going to take two bands and go from center to bottom. And now I'm going to start to fill in his chest area with two bands. Two bands, two bands, two bands, two bands, two bands, two bands on the bottom. 
two bands on the bottom and two bands on the bottom. And you just want to take a second and push some of those down. We're going to move on to his shorts. So for his shorts, I want you to take a single band, one band, one blue band, and we're going to go across this area here. We're going to start to link in our horizontal bands right now. And this is going to be done a little bit differently because then at the end we're going to flip them and they're going to kind of form like a belt around his waist, giving it a little bit more definition. So a single band forming a triangle right over that area. So it's peg number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and eight to form a triangle. Now we can start to lay our leg portion and this band count is going to change. We're going to do two and two and now we're going to do three. Three bands. I'm going to come over and do the bottom, which will be two, two, and now this one will be three bands. Need to finish off the center area in which that will be two bands. Two bands. Sorry, I keep hitting my camera. And the next one is a single band going from center to that peg. Center to that peg. Center to this peg with a single band, one band. Now we're going to begin to lay a portion of our leg and for that, we're going to switch back to our skin tone color, which is going to be two bands and two bands. I'm going to do the same thing over here with two bands and two bands. Now, as you will see, his legs are just a little bit longer and as I am looking at him right now I've noticed I have made a boo-boo so I want you guys to take off take off those two bands I'm sorry about that but take that off and take off that set of two bands we're going to take a single band one band and we're going to double twist it and place that right there I'm going to take another single band and double twist it and place it right there. And that's going to be the first link, smaller link in our leg. Now you'll see that we have to extend his leg. There's not enough here. So we need to extend his leg. So for the leg extension, we're going to work on that right now. I want you to take your hook and a single skin tone band and wrap it around your hook three times. I want you to take another single band, twist it on your fingers. You're going to convert over and reclaim. Just give it a little stretch and tug. I'm going to take another single band, twist, pull through, and reclaim. Another single band, double twist, pull through, and reclaim. And that is going to be our leg extension for one side. So we can go ahead and put that on our loom. You can choose whichever leg you want. I'm going to go for my right leg. And now I just need to do the extension for the left leg. So that's a single band that I'm going to double or triple, make it look like three. 
cap band, a single band, double twisted and pulled over and reclaimed, a single band, double twisted, pulled through and reclaimed, and another single band, double twisted, pulled through and reclaimed. And we're going to place that on our loom. So here we've got little teeny legs kind of just sticking and, and poking out there on us, those little legs. A couple other things that we need to do before we start to loom. I need to lay the little cuff area here and the rest of his horizontal bands. So we're going to start off right here at the knees with the cuff area. You're going to take a single band, wrap it around your hook so it looks like it's on there three times. And stretch that out over the band where the flesh and the blue meet, the skin tone and the blue meet. We're going to do that on both sides. So it's a band twisted three times around and placed where the flesh and the blue meet, right there. Now I need to lay the rest of my horizontal bands. I'm going to take a single blue and above where this diagonal was, we're going to place another one. And then we're going to take another single blue and we're going to place it right there. We need to work right here and this is going to be our chest area. We're starting like our stomach and chest area. And he is a little bit skinnier in this area. So what I'm going to do is to take a single band and we're going to run it around those three pegs right there to form a triangle. And then I want you to take your hook, grab a portion of that band, and loop it back around the center peg. You guys probably didn't see that too well, so I'm going to hold it closer. This is my band right here. This is what I call a one and a half time uh, horizontal band. So it's on there one time, but I want it to go another little piece. So I'm just going to grab the band with my hook. And I'm just going to twist it and place it over the top peg. And that just adds just a little bit more tightness in that area and gives it a little bit more definition. I'm back to a flesh colored band going right there. And now I need to work on my face, which will be a flesh colored band or skin tone. And I need to do my eyes. But before I do my eyes, I need to lay another skin tone. And now I'm going to do my eyes. For the eyes, we're going to be using our two black bands. Or you can use beads at this point if you like beads. But I'm going to take a single black band and wrap it around my hook so that it looks like it's on there four times. I'm going to do that again. One, two, three and four and make it look like it's on there four times. I'm going to take my flesh colored. I'm going to just move these blacks over and here we have got two sets of bands which will form two eyes. You want to lay this on peg number two at the top, two at the top and two at the bottom. And then we're going to reach in between those guys and we're going to grab the bottom portion of this link. There's my, my bands that I have on there. And I'm going to grab just the bottom one. I'm going to pull it down over to that center peg. And this is what's going to lock in that area and keep his eyes in place for me by taking just that one single loop and looping it down. So now we are almost ready to begin looping, but before we begin looping, I am going to add the arms. Some of you were very confused as to how I used to do my arms with a different extension and adding them on. So I have decided I'm gonna to start to build them as a layer on my creations. And I want you guys just to push down everything 
because we're going to be using this bottom row and the top row. So we're going to be adding a layer onto everything right there. So just push it down so you don't grab the wrong bands. I just take my hook and push everything down. So for our arms, we are going to be taking skin tone color again, and I'm gonna start at the top row. We're going to take two bands going from where his shoulder ends and come down the loom once. Next will be three bands, one, two, three bands. Coming down. And the next will be two bands. Coming down. And the next will be one band that we're going to double twist and place there. One band, double twisted and place there. One band, double twisted and place there. Oops, lost part of that one. One band, double twisted and place there. And now we need to cap off this area right here. We need to cap off that last band and that is going to be with a three time cap band. So wrap it around your hook three times, stretch it out and place it over that band right there, that end piece. You're one away from the bottom. You're not on the bottom, you're one away from the bottom. Now we need to do the same thing on this set of arms and that's going to be two bands and the next will be three bands three bands and then two bands and now we're starting with the single band one band double twisted and come down the loom one band double twisted and come down the loom. One band, double twisted, and come down the loom. And I just overlaid my little cuff there. I didn't really want to do that. One band, double twisted, and come down the loom. And now we need to cap off this one with a three time cap band. Number one, number two, and number three. And there you go. It's laying right there as a cat band. And now I do believe, my fine folks, that we are ready to start to loop. So during the looping process, follow along carefully. And I want you to pick up your loom. We're going to start off over here on its left arm. You'll see all of these flesh colors that are in the top layer. We're going to link the arm, and then we're going to move our arm out of the way on both sides. So not the bottom peg, the next peg up. Push back that cap band and grab your double twist band that's on top and you're going to link forward, grabbing just the flush bands. The next peg you're grabbing what looks like two bands, it's your double twist band, and come forward. Being sure not to grab the color underneath. Come forward. It's easy when it's with the colored bands. Not so easy when it's with the flesh colored bands. Mine were slightly twisted there. And here we go with two flesh bands. The next one is going to be three flesh bands. And you don't want to grab that horizontal that's underneath there. And the next one's going to be two flesh bands. Be sure not to grab the horizontal and come forward. And now we are complete with its left arm. Hold your finger, fingernail, I like my fingernail, over that peg and we're just going to reach in and take off the arm and swing it out. And there we've completed our left arm <laughs> and I'm going to laugh again every time I have to think about saying left. Our left arm is done right there and swung out for us. And now we're going to start our right arm. 
and I'm reaching not the last peg, the peg up from the bottom, grabbing my two bands, it's actually a single band double twisted, and coming forward once, two flush bands, don't grab your color, come forward, two bands, coming forward, two bands, coming forward, two bands, don't grab that horizontal color, come forward, and we're to the tricky part. This is three bands, and we need to make sure that we don't grab that horizontal. You only want your top three bands. Don't grab the horizontal down there. And I've got them. Three bands coming forward. And you'll see that one slipped off on me. It's okay, we're about to pull it off anyway, so it'll be okay. Next is two bands, and come forward. And now we are ready to move our right arm out of the way, reaching in at the base, picking up, and swing it out. Oh, that one curved perfectly for me today. So here we've got our left arm done and our right arm done. And now we're ready to start to loop his body and then we'll slow down again when we get to the head. So for his legs, we're going to reach into the left grabbing those two bands on the bottom and loop forward once. Grab the two bands on the bottom and loop forward. When you do this peg and you're looping forward on this peg, bring it down far enough so that you can see and you put your cat band on top, your blue cat band on top. Now push back that cat band and grab your blue underneath and loop forward once. Now for this area, we're gonna reach in and we're gonna grab our single band and take it over to the center. And then we're gonna to continue to loop the rest of the way up, reaching in and coming forward. Push back that horizontal band and come forward. And this part is going to be a little bit tricky for us because we need to do something here different with the shorts. So stop looping once you get to um, this area right there. Stop looping at the color. And let's move over and we're gonna work on our right leg now and get it to the same point. Because I need to make the waistband. So we're just reaching in, grabbing those single bands or those bands and bringing them up. Now I need to get my blue on top. So I'm just gonna take my peach and work its way down further and push my blue at the top. So you want blue, peach, and then blue. Push back that blue cat band, grabbing the bottom three bands and loop forward. Now I've reached my little horizontal area here or diagonal reach in, grab that single band and bring it over to the center. And now I'm gonna reach in here again and I'm gonna come forward once. And I'm gonna push back that horizontal and I'm gonna come forward again. Now I'm gonna reach into the center and I'm going to push back those two diagonals that we had there, grabbing the center two and coming forward once. Reaching in, grabbing those center two and coming forward again. And now in this area, we're going to pick up our top band. That top band that we had as a horizontal, right here, was in a triangle. We're going to pick it up and we're going to bring it back. You don't wanna loop it in with the rest of the project because we're gonna take it off at the end and we're gonna flip it around them. And I'll show you that at the end. But if you lose this band in there, you won't be able to get it back out. So you want one strand on the outside of these guys. Now we're able to finish up our left side, pushing back everything that we have as a horizontal band. And grabbing the bottom two flesh. And we're just gonna keep looping up. It's a pretty simple basic action figure here. PG's Lumacy was the original creator of that action figure and he is a genius. Now here at the shoulder area, 
take his little arm and pull it away a little bit so you can reach in there and easy, easier grab the two bands you need to go to the center. And now we're going to do the same thing on the right side, pushing back those blue bands and getting the two flesh skin tone. Come forward, basic looping right here, and about to reach his arm again. So for the arm, I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit and tug on it and grab the bottom two, come to the center. And then we're ready to start here at the center. And we're going to continue to loop up, going to the center. And we're just reaching in, pushing back anything that you may find as a cat band. And... I have some extra bands here that I don't want, so I'm just going to push those down. Actually, my cat band has slipped, but yours didn't, so we're all good there. My two bands forward. Sorry about that. Two bands. Now we're ready to do this neck portion. And for the neck, we got to reach in there, pushing back everything that you see. We're getting the bottom three bands. You're just going to loop that forward, those bottom three. And now, here's a little trick that I learned a bit ago with my new, the new hair design that I did with Prince Eric. This little cat band that locks everything in was always in the way. So if we just slide in there, slide our hook in there and pick that up and we pull it back here to the neck area for a minute, it gets it out of the way so we can reach this cheek part. So now you have easy access to reach in there and get your two cheek bands and bring those to the left. And the next two cheek bands are going to go off to our right. And now I'm going to reach in for the two center ones, not grabbing the piece. There's a piece of hair down there, a piece of hair band down there. Don't grab that one. You only want your two flesh or skin tone colors. Come up to the center. Now right here where the nose would be, push back everything that you come to and you just want to grab the flesh bands. Don't reach through and grab the hair color bands. You just want the flesh. And come forward. And now right here we're going to be looping up the last portion of the hair. So you're going to push back anything that's there. There's nothing there really. We're going to come forward once. And now we're ready to do our left side and our right side. And this is where we're going to be picking up the extra piece of our hair that was left on the loom so long ago. <laughs> so for the cheek area, you want to push back everything. And you want to grab your two flesh colored bands and loop forward. Now pick up your hair bands that we had on peg number four. And you're going to swing those out and loop it on top of peg number two now. And now we're ready to reach into peg number two, pushing back everything we come to, getting our bottom two hair bands, and come forward once. Reach in, grabbing our bottom two, and coming over to the center. And now we need to do the same thing on the right side. So for the right side, we're going to be reaching into our cheek area and we want these bottom two bands. That's all we want are these bottom two bands right there. And I know that there's a lot on it and this one's hard to get sometimes. Two bands and I didn't get two, I only got one. There's number two. Two skin tone bands coming forward. Now I need to pick up my hair that's on peg number four and I need to swing it up to peg number two. And that locks our back of our hair in. Reach into peg number two, getting those bottom two bands and coming forward. And reach into peg number one, bottom two bands, and come over to the center. And now we're ready to finish off Bob's head with our dangle band. Reach in beyond everything there, grabbing that single band and pull it up and out. Place it on your hook and just grab your first end and slide it over. And that slips, slip knots off your whole project. 
Now in order to do less fiddling with him, use the back of your hook or a wooden skewer or somebody suggested a chopstick and take your hook and just relieve all of this pressure in the face area. There's so many bands with the layers of hair that you don't want to just rip it right off the loom. And now our neck area is the same way. There's so much there you don't really want to just rip it. Same thing with the shoulders. And then as you come down the loom it does get a little bit easier until you get to the knee area. And at the knee area I would suggest using your hook again because there were extra bands there. And then of course the foot area because they're double twisted bands. And here is our beach bob that we need to tweak a little bit. Beach bob. Hey Bob, how you doing Bob? I'm having a great day, how about you? Yep. Okay, so Bob just needs a little bit of tucking on his hair. You wanna hide your dangle band back here. And we all should know how to hide your dangle bands by now, so I'm not gonna get into a whole bunch of that. If you want to cover up that little bit of flesh there, just take your hook and pull out a little bit of the hair and tuck it in and over. Some people like to see that little bit of flesh peeking out because they say it looks like an ear. Tug on his arms a little bit and depending upon what kind of band you have and have used, it really depends upon how much elastic there is in them. So he's kind of like a little wampered looking because I changed the, the type of bands that I used. But we need to finish up his waist area. So for his waist area, we've got one band back here on the back and we've got a, another band up here on the front. I want you to take that band on the front and I want you to twist it and then place it around to his back. So now you have two bands in the back. Now the loose band that was in the back, I want you to pick it up, twist it, and move it to the front. So this is what actually is cinching in his body and giving him the muscular look. And we just want to play a little bit and hide any of these extra bands. Like I said, it's the elastic type of bands that I've used. That's why these little pieces are poking out. But that's not a big deal. I can easily just kind of hide and tuck them in in the back. Let's tighten those up and give them more of a, a defined muscular stomach. And now for the leg area, the pants, we want to do the same thing here. There's three on the front. You want to just take one of those, one of these bands of the three on the front, and pick it up and move it to the back. And that's just giving our shorts a little bit more of a cuff. And you want to do that on both sides. And here we've got our wonderful dad, our beach dad, muscle bound. He looks a lot muscular than the first one. Our muscle bound dad, Bob, beach Bob. And he is ready to go on the beach. And he's going to be flying a kite. I made a kite for Bob where he can sit in the beach chair, he can hang out on the beach blanket with his Barbie mom. Lots of things that Bob can do. And I hope you guys will enjoy and follow along with any other videos that I have in the beach series and post your creations on my social media sites, which are listed at the beginning and the end of this video. And I can see your creations. Thanks guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.